I really feel sorry for this generation because um, I think of any generation, this generation doesn't know what real love is. Um, people have called it the me generation, you know, this millennial generation. I think it's even worse than uh, Generation X because um, at least Generation X had, you know, the 70s, right? They had the the love generation. And, you know, the 70s, they were really focused on love and what is love and all these things. And, and they had some, um, you know, they had some behaviors from the, from the boomers. Oh, you know, the hardworking generation. So if you combine that, if you combine the, the love aspect with the hardworking aspect, then to some degree, you know, you're going to get a product which is long-lasting love, hardworking love, because you got to work at love. And fortunately, we've been deemed, we've been dubbed the microwave generation. So this um, millennial generation, the microwave generation, right, um, is uh, obviously uh, <laughs> you know, is obviously you know, like all like paper plates, right? You use a paper plate and you throw it away, and this is what this generation does. They use things and then they just they pick something up, and then they get bored of it and they put it down, right? And I think they're this this way with relationships. This is how they are with relationships. So, you know, they don't know what love is. Love is loyalty. You know, love is loyalty. If you're not loyal to someone, then I really, really question your love for that person. If you're not loyal to someone, I don't care how good you make them feel. I don't care, you know, how much fun you guys have together. I don't care the outward circumstances at all. If you're not loyal to somebody, you don't love them. Which is why that weirdness of polyamory is just so disgusting. There's a lot of people out there who believe in polyamory, right? Oh, I can love multiple people. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can't love multiple people because loyalty is a part of love. That's the whole point of love is you love one person and you're loyal to them. Loyalty and love go hand in hand. That's just a fact. You can't just make shit up and, oh, this is what I believe in and this is how things are for me and da, da 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 No. You might quote unquote love someone, but if you cheat on them, then your love is degraded. I think you can love somebody and still cheat on them. Absolutely. 100%. But if you do that, like I said, not only are you degrading your love, but I don't think you love that person as much as you think you love that person. You might think you love somebody, but if you're <laughs> hooking up with other people or you're loving somebody else or you're, your love is circumstantial, which is why hypergamy is such a messed up thing and why men should never play into hypergamy. This whole point right here is the exact reason why men should never play into hypergamy. If your woman chose you because you have money and because you're paying bills and she doesn't really love you, think about it, guys. And a lot of guys just accept it. Well, that's just the way it is. I've talked to so many guys and so many women as well who say, that's just the way it is. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, you like your bread buttered. I get it. 
You want a guy who's making money. I get it. You don't want to be broke. I get it. You want to go out and do things. I get it. Okay? But you want to know what? Unfortunately, it's not love. It's not love. It's not deep love. It's circumstantial love. It's shallow love. It's situational love. How many women choose a man just because of the situation he can give her? Just because of his money, just because he's got a nice house and he can provide a quality life for her. And she can have kids with him and raise kids in a quality, safe, non-stressful environment. That sounds great, but guess what? It's not love. <laughs> it's not love. It's not real love. It's circumstantial love. If you're not loyal to somebody, irregardless of his, finan his financial situation, then you don't really love that man. You love what he does for you. You love him insofar as he's attached to his money, insofar as he's attached to the scenario that he's giving you. This is why hypergamy is fundamentally shallow. It's fundamentally not love. It's a sick part of female nature. And it, and it begs the question, would women really love you? Are you sure? Are you sure your woman, you're sure your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, would still love you if you didn't provide her a certain quality of life? She likes the quality of life that you give her. She likes the kind of life that you give her. She likes the fun. She likes your fun personality. She likes this, she likes that. What if you change? This is the question of questions. And so many people don't even realize that that's wrong. So many people don't even see the shallowness of it. They don't even see it. They just think, oh yeah, it's fine. I love him because of this, that, and he's like this, and he's so funny, and da, da, da. What if he wasn't funny anymore? What if, what if he started being boring? What if he didn't do the cool things, the fun things that you like doing with him? What if he didn't take you out anymore? What if this, what if that? Then, then they would leave you, right? This is so many women's love. This is how so many women love, and yet nobody questions it. In fact, men are even encouraged to play into it. Make more money so you can keep your woman around. Be more masculine so you can keep your woman around. You can get higher quality women if you make more money. Oh, really? She's gonna be quality if you make more money, more quality? I think she's gonna be more quality if you make less money and she still sticks around. And that's rare. I've seen it, but it's rare. It's rare. Women will leave you if you change. Women will leave you if you don't provide the type of life that they want. Women will leave you if you lose your money. I've seen it. I've seen it all. I know what I'm talking about. It's a harsh part of life, but we have to evolve. It's a harsh part of, it's a harsh reality, but we have to be clued in to this reality. And we have to say, wait a minute, do I really want a woman who's gonna leave me if I don't bring home the bacon? Do I really want a woman who's gonna leave me if I lose my job? Do I really want a woman who's gonna leave me if I move back in with my, my parents? If I uh, go on welfare? She's no longer gonna want me? Think about it. That's the reality that so many guys are living in. Hypergamy is not love. Loyalty is a part of love. If she cheats on you, it's the same thing as her only choosing you because you have money. It's the same concept. It's just, it's just, a, it's just the uh, diametrical opposite or it's just a different aspect of it, right? Loyalty is based on love. But, but if she's only loyal to you because you, you have money, that also is not love. If she's so still unloyal to you and still claims that she loves you, of course that's not love. Most people would admit that. Most people would say, yes, it's not love if a woman cheats on you or a man cheats on you. But how many people would say, yes, it's not love if she'll only be with you because you have money? How many people would admit to that? Not many men because it's just, it's kind of a prerequisite. And men realize that, oh, I gotta make the money or else I'm not gonna get the woman. 
But how many men really think about how shallow that is? All these people with their nice lives and their nice and their nice cars and their nice houses, you know, do they think about you know the the dirty little secret which is hey man lose your job she'll leave you lose your job she doesn't want to suffer she chose you because of the nice life you can give her you work so hard you went to Yale you went to Harvard you got your computer science degree you got your medical degree you got your great job and then you got the woman right that's how it happened She wasn't with you when you were studying because there's a probability that you're not going to make it. There's a probability that you're going to fail. She's waiting around at the finish line. Oh, this guy's a doctor. Oh, this guy's a lawyer. Oh, this guy's, you know, he's got his computer science degree. He's a, he's a computer engineer. He's making a hundred K a year starting out. He's going to be retired in 15 years. Then we're going to go sail the world. You think that's loyalty? You think that's love? (laughs) Think again, man. And how many people out there, you know, are living this life? How many people out there in their nice little five bedroom homes (laughs) in in the suburbs and they don't realize your wife's love is transient. Your wife's love is conditional. Lose your job, she's gone. Think about it, man. We need to wise up as men. A quality woman is quality love. What's quality love? Loyalty. What's loyalty based on? It's not based on outward circumstances. It's based on a foundation of love. It's based on a foundation of of loyalty. (laughs) But again, if you lose your job, she's not going to be loyal. She cheats on you. She's certainly not loyal. If you don't... Supply a certain kind of life for her and she leaves. Well, that can't be loyalty. (laughs) It's pretty simple. But how many people don't get it? How many people are still living that conditional life? Well, that's just the way it is. Well, uh, you know, I got to do this. I got to do that. Because they've been conditioned. Right? Something to think about. Thanks for listening.